This is Double Star. This is our new home. She's a Beneteau Oceanus Yacht 62. She was born in the Beneteau factory in a picturesque commune on the French Atlantic coast in 2019. She officially launched on May the 14th, and it was quite a challenge to figure out the logistics of getting her stateside to start the commissioning and outfitting process. She made the long trip from Western France to the port of Bruges in Belgium on the back of a truck. There were a few hair-raising moments along the way, but the entire team involved did a phenomenal job to get her safely to port. From there she boarded the carrier Talisman for the journey across the Atlantic to Baltimore in Maryland on the US East Coast. And from there she floated the short distance down the Chesapeake to where we find her now. She's slightly out of her element. This is what she's supposed to look like. You may notice she's missing one vital element, other than water. She looks like a motor yacht at the moment. Hmm, like a baby mangusta, perhaps. Maybe not. In any event, she needs a mast, a big ass mast. With a light displacement of almost 60,000 pounds, she's designed to carry a rig consisting of a main, genoa, staysail, and spinnaker or code zero. For that, she has an air draft of 90 feet, 96 when adding the VHF antenna. The mast is manufactured by Sparcraft. This particular model is from their S range of performance masts, constructed of aluminium or aluminum if you're in the States. It has an in-mast furling system for the mainsail and the cabling you see here leads to various instrumentation and equipment such as the radar, VHF, lights, wind instruments, mast mounted camera, etc. We're at the Jabin Yacht Yard in Annapolis, Maryland. While this is a working commercial yacht, it's cleaner and has better facilities than some resort type marinas we've used in the past. Our boat is being commissioned by Annapolis Yacht Sales under the leadership of Chris Humphreys. To say we've been exceedingly happy with the service and attention we've received would be a huge understatement. These folks are amazing. To step a mast of this size, you need a pretty badass crane. Normally, the rigging team would attach a sling to the mast at the point where its center of gravity is supported by the fulcrum, which is created by the crane and the sling. But in this case, because the mast is spliced, effectively two parts that have been put together, we had to place the sling on the top side of the splice as per the Sparcraft requirements. This made the mast extremely heavy at the base, You will note from this view, coming from a GoPro we mounted at the top of the mast, that as the mast became more vertical, the load being supported by the team at the bottom increases, causing a moment or two of stress as more help is called in. We also managed to get some drone footage of the event. Here are a few different angles which really shows the scale of the project.
can't stop running now. With you, I found my peace somehow. Let go of every thought that was holding me back. Yeah. I'm in love with you in every way. The joy you give me every day makes me forget that I was troubled before. Don't know if I'm dreaming, I'm slipping away. I hear your sweet voice, then I see your face. I Before we stepped the mast, we honoured the age-old mariner's tradition of placing a coin under the mast. But this is double star after all, and so we decided to place two silver dollars in this instance. If I can't have you, Finally, we also had a camera to the side, set up to capture the entire process in a pretty cool time-lapse. We want to take this opportunity to thank everybody involved and for allowing us to be a part and to capture this really amazing process. It gave us an appreciation for the amazing work these people do every day. Thank you. In the next video, we'll use a massive hydraulic lift to raise Double Star off her jack stands and drive her down to the water where she will finally be splashed. Feel free to subscribe if you want to join as we sail around the world, loving each other, pursuing adventure, creating magnificent food experiences, and generally living the dream aboard our Oceanus Yacht 62.